I follow a few feeds on social media that I know will bring me joy as I'm scrolling through my phone. One of the more humorous feeds I follow is called You Had One Job, and it chronicles the various mishap images that people post online. Generally, it's, it's things like pictures of a bathroom shower wall where one tile is askew and a long line of straight tiles, or a big bin in the grocery store advertising pumpkins that's filled to the brim with watermelons. Silly stuff like that. When you think about it, all of us are given small tasks here and there that are one job to do at a time, whether it's assigned to us by a superior or self-assigned from within as a means of going through life and getting things done. Sometimes we succeed and other times, well, other times the bathroom tile wall is a little bit off center. But for a moment, imagine if the one job that was appointed to you wasn't something small, but a task of enormous proportion. Imagine if that job wasn't just greatly important, but the most important undertaking the world has ever known. Imagine that the fate of all mankind, past, present, and future, rested solely on your ability to accomplish the task with absolute perfection. This is the job given by God to his only son, Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 2, 5 through 6 says, For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. The job given to the second person of the Trinity was that he be the only mediator between sinful humanity, which is us, and holy God. And one of the most beautiful, horrible truths about his rescue of us is that Jesus Christ was cosmically cut off from the fellowship he experienced with the Father and the Spirit so that we could be grafted into a loving relationship with all three persons of the Trinity. He was separated so we could join. He was destroyed so that we could be made new. He was rejected so that we could be welcomed. He was made poor so that we could be eternally and spiritually rich. Jesus Christ is our mediator, our broken savior, who makes us whole. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.